a super cool, super awesome, semi-automatic pumpkin pie farm right here. All the ingredients for pumpkin pie are in this chest right here. Just craft away. It looks like a pumpkin and everything, guys, and it works on every single version of Minecraft. Hey there guys, Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from Tutorial Land with just one, two, three tutorials right now because it's new. And uh, yeah, we are doing a cool semi-automatic pumpkin pie farm. This thing here is a pumpkin farm, a sugarcane farm, and a chicken farm all mixed into one. Gives you what you need, ingredients for pumpkin pie. How cool is that? I think it looks super awesome if you ask me. Uh, I'm pretty fond of it. It looks good in your world. You can even make this out of, you know actual jack-o-lanterns in this way you want it so it would glow at night and you could put some melons as a stick or you could use glass if you really wanted to use glass i think that's one way that this could go down maybe 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 guys for this one here let's go for 341 likes if you're one of those dudes don't forget to hit me up below so yeah guys twitter always follow on twitter for every single update of every single video and every single news yes i think that's the right thing to do i think uh we'll jump into this one guys if i remember correctly when i did this back in the old school ps4 days this was a cortezarino build so i am definitely going to link cortezarino's channel in the description below and then you could go and check it out so let's build it guys we're going to build it on this little platform right here straight ahead and what you need is three green blocks 50 orange blocks so basically guys if this is going to be jack-o-lanterns uh you need to make sure they're 50 jack-o-lanterns and you know if if it's glass then it's 50 orange glass whatever uh three dirt you actually need dirt uh three glass no matter what you got some glass on there two chests uh, one bucket of water, one sugar cane, one pumpkin seeds, bone meal if you're not patient, three redstone torches, one comparator, four hoppers, two regular pistons. You're going to need a hoe at least one time, so it could be wood. Uh, four item frames, and then one torch, which you may or may not need. I don't know. I'm not Exuma Void, but I'm putting some light in there to make the things grow just to, uh, yeah, just in case, you know what I mean? So keep in mind, guys, when you place pumpkins, if you're going to make this out of pumpkins, you have to place blocks under them first. So every single block you place is going to have to have a block under it, which makes it a little more challenging. Once you get into the top area here, you're going to have to fill the inside. Uh, with dirt blocks as you build the redstone around it so yeah you might want to take on that task if not we're going to use solid blocks for this one today let's go here three by three of your orange block on the ground so bang you're good to go then what we're going to do is just go ahead and build a three a three three-way wall all the way around and we're going to make it three high Okay, so we have our three around the wall, three high, ready to go. So we know in the front, guys, we're going to need bang, bang. That's going to be where your chickens is. There's going to be a hole right here. Again, I think this is for light. I'm pretty sure this is more or less the main reason why it's here. I also use a torch. I don't know. I don't know for sure in which version you're on. So it's just safer to have the light. Uh, the front here is going to be glass. We'll put that after. Let's start at the bottom. So we want to have your double chest right here. That's going to be where your goods are stored. Go ahead and grab yourself a hopper. Hopper straight down. Hopper into this hopper. Hopper into this hopper. And then a hopper down into this hopper. Hey, guys, doesn't that sound good? Sounds easy enough to me. So let's go ahead. We're going to put our comparator. Our redstone comparator is going to go here. Then we're going to put that into a block. Then we're going to grab those redstone torches that I so uh, shadily left out of my inventory. We're going to grab it, redstone torch right there. Then I've just used dirt blocks. From this point on, we're just going to use dirt blocks because things are going to be growing and stuff. Uh, and it's just better for, for, I think, efficiency. So I'm pretty sure efficiency. Bang, bang, bang. See what we just did? We just covered this all up. You can go ahead and put a solid block right here and a block right here again dirt this these ones have to be dirt this one down here could just be a solid block oh i already filled it in and this one could be a solid block if you want as well so uh let's keep going so on this one here we're going to use our one bucket of water our one bucket of water is going to go right here then we are going to plant our sugar cane so let's grab our sugar cane right here so this is going to be the new home for your sugar cane right there yes it is sounds good to me i think so oh it's lightning so uh, I think I have my tick speed turned up. Oh my gosh, I must have my tick speed because I was testing that farm right at the beginning. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I guess I must have it up to like, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we fix our tick speed. Now this won't grow so fast. It actually doesn't go very, very fast at all. So once we have this, now we could go ahead and grab our dirt blocks. Take your dirt block like this. Let's place another dirt block right here. So this dirt block has to stay right here. We're going to also have a piston facing this way. Then we're also going to have a redstone torch here and here. So we're feeling pretty good about it. We could go ahead and grab our dirt now. Go ahead and grab your dirt and don't put it right all the way down because you want to be able to open that chest. Put it right here. Once we've done this, this is going to be where you grab your hoe. You're going to hoe this guy here and that's going to get your pumpkin seeds. And again, if you don't want to be patient, you don't have to be. We could use a bone meal like this. Perfect. So this is maybe the most difficult part of the whole entire build right now. I'm going to get you let you in on a story. Getting the chickens in here is a pain is guaranteed going to be a pain. So what you want to do is have your last piston ready and prepared for sure. And we can start this going. So we're going to oh, seal this guy off right there with uh, glass. These guys here are going to be glass as well. And then your chickens go in here. And then you have to cover that piston. Basically, then you have to cover that with a stick with a piston. So if you're on survival, I would recommend taking this torch out right here and then luring them up with seeds and dropping them down the hole. Leave all of this stuff. And then once they're in, I'll just throw them in to uh, give you guys a little example. So once you have them in the hole, you have to basically put, trap them down there. So this thing operates on chickens. Guys, I would put at least six, six chickens, seven chickens. Once you put those chickens in, you're going to want to block this. You're going to want to block this hole up with your regular piston. So now we're good. Now you open this guy up and then you go ahead and place your piston, your torch right there. So now basically what we have here is when a chicken lays an egg the egg is going to go through hit this comparator both these guys are going to trigger if there's a melon that grows there which is the only place it can grow and a sugar cane up here both of them will find the find their ways into this uh, little piston or into this hopper right here and then they all find their way down now we're just going to seal this bad boy up again we're going to use you know some uh some orange and then just do right here here and here 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 and here so this is where i put the torch like i said at the beginning of the video guys i don't even on different version depending on what version you're on and i don't know i put a torch in here i think there should be more light i think if there's more light you'll get more stuff and you can feel good go ahead and uh, put one green one green there bingo bango bongo you would now have an automatic or semi-automatic let me be clear with that a semi-automatic pumpkin pie farm go ahead and put your item frames up here and uh, you could get all the various ingredients I guess I'm gonna do a little inventory cleaning here like this like this like this and we'll just grab the ingredients out of this one. Oh, I already had sugar cane bang and then you know what you got right you got eggs right here you got yourself uh, sh sugar cane right there and you got yourself some pumpkin right here then what do you have at the end of the day you're going to end up with the most tastiest thing you have uh in minecraft which i won't be able to find right now anyway because we're in the wrong menu uh this guy here pumpkin pie how awesome is pumpkin pie i've been using pumpkin pie so much in my let's play lately pumpkin pie farm look at that now don't forget to smash that like before you go don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel if you think this is a cool tutorial thanks a lot for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one